SBF just sold almost everything to Binance, and it's fair to say it's caught most of us off guard. Is this the biggest thing to happen in crypto? What a whirlwind few days it has been. First, CZ acknowledges it was Binance who sold half a billion dollars of FTT. Worries then soared about Alameda Research's balance sheet. Then everyone started trying to withdraw from FTX. And here we are now. The world's largest crypto exchange has just said it plans to buy its biggest rival, FTX, by the way. Last valued at 32 billion US dollars. If reports are to be believed, Binance may pay nothing for them. Should we now officially declare CZ a genius? Perhaps. He tweeted late Tuesday that FTX had asked for help and said that Binance had stepped in to help protect users with this letter of intent, this LOI. That was a little different, by the way, to the way that Sam Batman Freed had described this deal, which he called a strategic transaction. Crypto prices have been falling steadily amid all of this. Bitcoin was down to $17,603, the lowest it has been all year. Ethereum shed around 18% in the 24 hours to this recording, around $1,300 US dollars. Solana, meanwhile, which of course FTX and Alameda had very big stakes in, is over 30% down on this time last week. We are here to try and talk through what all of this means for the industry and for our crypto, but we want to hear what you think as well. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Here's how Binance and FTX's competitors have been reacting. Let's start with Coinbase, which is now potentially the world's second largest crypto exchange instead of FTX. Its boss, Brian Armstrong, was among the first to distance himself from this situation on Twitter. He tried to reassure customers about exposure to Alameda and about the risk of contagion affecting Coinbase. He also said the company behaved differently, saying on Twitter, Coinbase has always strived to be the most trusted player in the space, and we don't engage in this type of risky activity. There are others who are more worried, though. It's like a pretty sad day for the industry for this to happen. Um, we're just hoping that everybody gets some sort of reconciliation of their, you know, their funds, uh, the money they work hard for. Gracie Chen, the managing director of BitGet, says Binance may be hurting, not helping the whole industry. Quote, if Binance buys FTX, she said, it's harmful to the industry and a humiliation to decentralization. For Binance, it might be a short-term victory written into a case study, but it will backfire in the long term. She's also among those, by the way, who don't think this deal will even go through. Remember that CZ said that was a letter of intent pending due diligence. That essentially means Binance could pull out of this at any minute, just like another recent high-profile acquisition. I don't think they signed a letter of intent to acquire FTX if they didn't have the resources to do so. But then also it's worth noting they could back out of the deal uh, very similarly to what uh, Elon did with Twitter a, a while back. A except in the case of CZ, he could actually just literally back out of the deal. And that's another risk. There's also another potentially more controversial thing that could get in the way of this deal. Antitrust laws. It's probably the biggest... Um antitrust development that's happened, happened in the space so far. Zach Martin is an antitrust lawyer from Crescent Law Group. He reckons that even though the move doesn't include the US arms of Binance and FTX, American regulators could still intervene. My view is that they could. These are global markets, as you know. Um, the, the US regulators um, would see through this sort of shell game they're playing um, with, uh, you know, this isn't really US. As I'm sure you can appreciate, people in the U.S. use the the real the main Binance and the main FTX exchanges going through VPN or or what have you. So um, this is not something that's going to be able to uh, uh, avoid U.S. merger review. I would be very surprised if um, if the deal goes forward and it's not um, scrutinized very highly. CZ basically with a single tweet bankrupted a $30 billion company, which is also his biggest competitor um, and is now going to go and buy that previously yesterday, $30 billion company today for pennies on the dollar and basically eliminate his um, you know, one of his largest competitors. Um, so 
absolutely, if there was ever a case for antitrust laws and uh, preventing monopolies from forming and all of these sorts of things, then this is, um, you know, like a textbook case. So where does this leave us? Well, even if the deal does go through, the worries remain enormous. First of all, there is the issue of contagion and who exactly is exposed to FTX and Alameda Research. And then there's the question about trust. And this is potentially even more significant. Just days ago, FTX was the gold standard. It was the tier one. If they can fall, what else could happen? What else don't we know about? Crypto and blockchain were supposed to bring with them clarity, transparency, certainty. We were supposed to be able to know what was happening. But just like with Terra Luna, just like with Celsius and Three Arrows Capital and all the other stuff that's happened just this year, we didn't. Here's Alessio Quaglini from Hextrust. We can talk about the problems, but they're, they're always the same that they keep on repeating. And so it's, uh, it's just one another and another piece of the puzzle. Um, so the first one is not going to be the last one. What everyone has been saying basically amounts to this. You should be worried. You need to stay up to date on this and Forecast is the place to do it. So like and subscribe to this video to get notified about our coverage from the rest of the fallout of the FTX Binance deal. There is a lot more to come.